Hi everyone, today I am doing a makeup tutorial, the first makeup tutorial that I've ever done on this beauty channel. So I really hope you enjoy it. I'm creating this look that I'm wearing right now. It is a look for clubbing because I'm going out clubbing later on tonight and this is the look that I'm doing. I've got my big eyes, my bright lips, ignore the hair, I'm, I'm going to do the hair later. <laughs> so yeah i hope you enjoy my tutorial if you think that that's something that you'd be interested in then please keep watching so the first thing you want to do before makeup is applied you want to make sure that you are clean you don't want anything on your face whatsoever no moisturizer no cleanser nothing you want it squeaky clean definitely no leftover foundation from during the day or the night before definitely no eye makeup you want nothing Number one, make sure your hair is up. I use these headbands, they're pretty cheap. You can just get them from pound stores and wherever really. So now you see all of my hair is back from my face and now I'm ready to go. Clubbing makeup is all about looking bright, attracting attention, you can go sparkly, you want to go all out. When makeup artists are preparing actors and actresses um, to go on stage, they perform stage makeup. Now, this is very dramatic and drastic and bright and colourful so that the audience can see them from far away. The same theory applies to clubbing makeup because you want to be seen as looking good not just up close but far away as well especially when you'll be all sweaty and hot you want to make sure that your makeup is staying as best as it can and that you just don't look like you've just come out of the shower with no makeup on at the end of the night like I do right now. The first thing that we are going to do is make sure that we apply a proper base. Now, in everyday makeup, you can use whatever base you like. Um, I tend to use a primer, and most of you will too. A primer is something that sets a barrier between your pores and your skin, and it also keeps makeup on your face for longer than it otherwise would be if there was no primer on your face. When you're going clubbing, you want to opt for an expensive primer, or a very, very good brand shall I say you don't need to spend loads of money I opt for the Laura Mercier primer oil free this is a high-end primer and it keeps my makeup on for a lot longer than other cheaper primers so this is what I would recommend that you do now that I'm all squeaky clean and prepped I'm ready to apply my base makeup for foundation, you need to use a foundation that covers very well and that stays on for very long. Again, applying a similar concept as the primer. If you find that one foundation does not do this, then apply a, several coats. I only apply one coat of my Clinique Even Better foundation every day but when I go clubbing I apply two or three coats to make sure that my makeup really stays on. I also apply plenty of concealer and set my whole face with a powder so that we're ready to apply the more colourful and glittery makeup. your base it's time to do the eyes the eyes will be the center of attention they're the things that you want people looking at tonight not your boobs <laughs> you want them to be big 
and massive and crazy. But before we go on to do the eyes, we need to create the shape of the eyebrows to attract a little bit more attention. Normally, I would use an eyebrow powder and just fill in my eyebrows and make them short and sweet and beautiful. But today, I am going to apply the powder again, except this time I'm going to outline the shape of my eyebrows with my concealer for a bit more edge. So to do my eyebrows, I am using the Naked 2 palette and the colour I'm using is YDK. Just going to line my eyebrows with this angled brush as I would during my everyday makeup. So now that the eyebrows have a shape and they are more filled in, we're going to outline them, outline them with the concealer. And once I've done that, I tend to go back in and just make them a bit bigger and a bit fuller, especially in the sections here just to make sure that they've got a big oomph about them and that is the very scary eyebrows now it's time to move on to the eyes now you want to prep the eyes in exactly the same way as you prepped your face so you need to use an eye primer you want to go for a more liquidy jelly type form rather than a cream based form because this will make the eyeshadow application extra smooth. And it's time to curl your lashes. Even though you will be applying false eyelashes in the end, it's still very important to curl your natural lashes to help the whole process and the lashes and the false lashes come together to become one. Now it's time for the fun bit, eyeshadow. You want to go all out and get your most sparkly, fun eyeshadow that you've got. I'm using Max Pressed Pigment in Black Grape and I'm applying it all over the lid. actually die there but basically what happened was I finished applying my eyeshadow I then used a creamy white highlighter I used number 17's white rabbit eye cream to highlight underneath my brow bone and the inner corners of my eyes and then I went in with a black eyeshadow into the crease of both of my eyes and that created the illusion of depth that made my eyes big and bold and beautiful now it's time to get on to applying the eyeliner. Now if you're thinking of using liquid eyeliner and you're thinking of using cold pencil eyeliner, think again. When you're going clubbing, that's going to smudge. The only thing that you need to use is a gel eyeliner. This is, I'd say, 95% smudge proof. It lasts and lasts and lasts and it's the one thing that you want to be using. I will be using the Maybelline's Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in black and I can guarantee that this will stay on pretty much all night.
person to do here is go for a very big, very dramatic, very drawn out cat eye. I've lined the waterline and on the bottoms with my gel eyeliner as well as the top because hopefully at least one of those three things will stay on during the night. Now it's time to apply mascara and false lashes which I won't film for you because it will take me about 20 minutes to do and I'll see you in a minute. So whilst my false eyelashes dry it's time to apply a bit of colour to the face because I'm looking very pale and very spooky looking. So I'm going to apply some bronzer to contour my face and give my face a little bit of colour. Then I'm going to apply some blusher and highlight the areas where the light would naturally hit. And I would do this like I would in my normal everyday makeup routine, except I may intensify the amount that I put on. But now that my face is complete, it is time to finish off the look with the lips. Now, when you're going clubbing, you want big, bright, beautiful, bold, fantastic looking lips. So, let's go. So, I apply my Lip Plump Primer to make my lipstick last even longer. I line my lips with a flesh coloured lip liner. And then I apply my bright lipstick. I am using Candy Yum Yum by MAC. Top this off with a clear lip gloss and you're done. Make sure to use the finger trip where you place the finger in the middle of your mouth, pull it in and out for a few times and that means that will um, stop lipstick from getting on your teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly go over where I've got dried fake eyelash glue with my gel eyeliner, put a bit, little bit of mascara on my fake eyelashes and then I'm ready for an amazing night out. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you all guys in my next video. Bye!